the Karnataka cut money scandal. The family of contractor Santosh Patil, who died by suicide, has finally conducted his last rites in Belagavi district. But the politics over the issue of the cut money has now begun. The Congress is demanding resignation of Minister K.S. Ishwarappa, who has been named in the FIR as accused number one. The minister remains defiant, saying that he won't resign. Chief Minister Baswaraj Bumai has said that Congress has no moral right to protest. So politics is playing out even as family demands justice for Santosh, who allegedly died by suicide. Santosh Patil had accused the minister's associates of demanding a 40% commission to clear his bill. NDTV's Shrija spoke with senior Congress leader DK Shivakumar while the Congress was protesting on Bengaluru streets. The Congress has been demanding the resignation of K.S. Ishwarappa, but he seems very defiant. He says there's no work order, there's no record at all. See, naturally no accused will accept that uh, he has done a crime. First, it is a corruption case which already uh, Mr. Kempana Association has come out. He himself has written a letter. He has already given a, in the form of a death note in a WhatsApp message he has sent. There is no option. The government has to first file a case on corruption, then arrest him, then things. The law has to take its own land. The most corrupt state of the uh, country without uh, doing the work. How can he claim? The Panchayat chairman himself has admitted he has met the minister. Minister has to ask to do the work and there are evidence to prove that he has done the work. How can he do the work on a government property? How did they hello? From the last two years it has been going on. Now they are trying to cover up this issue. I think Adirappa also has been requested to give justice. Prime Minister has been requested by him to give justice. So Bamma himself is protecting this. Okay, uh, so one question I wanted to ask you is this 40% cut or the commission is not something new, the allegation that just came up. When we spoke to the Contractors Association, they say that's a tradition that's been followed. Initially, it started off with 5%, then 10%. Now it's increased to 40%. No, I don't know what they are telling, but whatever they are telling is blatantly, it has been pruned, action has to be taken, we have to clean up the system. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Baswaraj Bummai has said that Congress has no moral right to protest and he said Congress is the main source of corruption. Congress people doesn't have any moral right to protest. There were a few number of murders taking place, a lot of violence and death. Congress is a gangotri of corruption. Therefore, they don't have right to say anything about this and they don't have any moral right to protest. The demand for case Ishwarappa's resignation is just gaining momentum. Congress has taken out on a march from Congress Bhavan. They were intending to, in fact, take out on a march till Chief Minister's official residence, uh, Krishna. But just a few meters away from uh, Congress's Bhavan, we see that the party workers are being detained. They're being detained and taken inside the bus right now. And of course, uh, the entire area has been right now barricaded by the police uh, to ensure that they do not move towards uh, the Chief Minister Basraj Bhamai's official residence, uh, Krishna. Now, this is the second day of the protest that we're looking at as far as the opposition is concerned. The opposition is protesting, demanding K.S. Ishwarapa, senior BJP leader, uh, you know, his resignation. Now, his name features uh, as the accused number one as far as the FIR is concerned. Concern, but however, not really any action has been initiated against him because he has been booked under IPC section uh, uh, 306 for abetment to suicide. But uh, despite all that, despite being named as accused number one, despite his name being featured as the main person responsible for causing the death of Santosh Patil, he still has not been arrested. Now that is one of the demands of um, you know the opposition here in Karnataka. But uh, also, the, in this entire issue, the controversy throws light into what really happened to the entire allegation. Because, of course, there is a 
political blame game. You have the Congress blaming the BJP government. You have the BJP government questioning why should K.S. Ishwarappa resign. Because Ishwarappa is defined at the moment. He goes on to say that there is no record to show that there was a work order which was given to Santosh Patel or there is no uh, record to show that payments were pending. So, you know, be, uh, keeping that in mind, we see that K.S. Ishwarappa is remaining defiant and so he says he, he then uh, under no grounds he will be stepping down.